Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Ellis from Jesse James Beads and today I have a fun, easy and quick necklace project featuring beads from the Jesse James Beads Halloween collection. These beads are available at select Walmart stores as well as jessejamesbeads.com. Hope you enjoy the project. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, today we're going to be creating a really fun Halloween themed necklace featuring the jack-o'-lantern strand from Jesse James Beads. This strand is available from Walmart as well as jessejamesbeads.com and it features your classic orange and black Halloween colors in different shapes and textures throughout the strand. In addition to the strand, you're also going to need 10 inches of bead stringing wire. I'm using 49 strand in silver color. You're going to need two crimps, either tubes or crimp beads, two six millimeter jump rings, a clasp, and you're also going to need two eight inch sections of black acrylic chain. This chain is available from jessejamesbeads.com. The tools that you'll need for this project are two pairs of pliers for opening and closing jump rings. You'll need a cutter tool as well as your standard crimper tool. To get started, thread your crimp bead onto the end of your 10 inch piece of bead stringing wire. Leave yourself about an inch to an inch and a half of tail. Thread the end of the bead stringing wire through the last link on one of your chain sections and then create a loop by taking the tail end of your bead stringing wire back through the crimp bead. Once you have thread your wire back through the crimp bead, you want to snug everything up, bring that crimp tube close to the end of the chain here, but you want to leave yourself a little bit of wiggle room. Using the back notch of your crimper tool, the one that is shaped like a piece of macaroni, place the crimp tube inside that back notch on the crimper tool, making sure that your bead stringing wires are not crossing each other within the crimp tube and squeeze the tool. Remove the crimp from the back notch of the crimp tool and then place it sideways within the very front notch of the crimper tool and squeeze. This will help to tidy your crimp and make it more compact. Now use your cutter tool to trim off the short tail of the bead stringing wire. Using the same pattern that your strand already exists in, transfer your beads from the strand and the card onto your bead stringing wire. Once you've thread all of your beads onto your bead stringing wire, now we're ready to repeat the process of crimping by threading your crimp bead onto the end of your bead stringing wire, threading the bead stringing wire through the loop of your second chain section, take the bead stringing wire and thread it back through your crimp bead and then pull everything close. Place the crimp bead into the back notch of the crimper tool, making sure that the wires are not crossing within the crimp bead and crimp. Place the crimp bead into the front notch of the crimper tool and squeeze. Use your cutter tool to trim the tail end of your wire. Using two pairs of pliers, place a six millimeter jump ring between the pliers and use a twisting motion to open your jump ring. Thread the open jump ring onto the last link of one of your chain sections and using the same twisting motion, twist the jump ring back closed. Repeat these steps with a second jump ring using two pairs of pliers to twist open a jump ring, thread on your clasp, and then hook this jump ring onto the other end of your chain section and close the jump ring. Your necklace is complete. You have a classic black and orange fabulous piece of jewelry that you can wear throughout the Halloween season.